good to see you back with Pop Collectibles, showcasing some of the great collectibles available from Weta in New Zealand. Finally though, we find out what is coming up next for those Weta movie magicians with news about the sequel to one of our favourite films. Will the Narnia licence continue for years to come? The production company on the successes of the first film, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, intend making Prince Caspian and that's incredibly exciting for all of us. Uh, we obviously hope that we are invited to work on the second film. Nothing would please me more other than maybe making The Hobbit <laughs> would be, would be uh, possibly up there uh, if that could ever happen. But uh, the chance of working on the second film of Narnia would be amazingly cool. And in turn, hopefully we'd be invited to continue on with our collectibles line. People love uh, the bookends that we did on Lord of the Rings and that really instigated us to do more for uh, both Kong and Narnia. And uh, one of the unique things that we've done with this line is we've actually recreated the actual original marquettes that we used in the film. So rather than uh, purchasing a piece of sculpture that's been done at the tail end of the movie, we've actually gone and replicated the actual marquette that Andrew Adamson used in the design process of creating the film, which for some a geek like me would be an amazingly cool thing. And then uh, these other very beautiful signature pieces. Can you share with us your favourite Narnia piece? Well, I think ultimately this is my favourite out of this line. I love the original uh, character. He's in this wonderful uh, armour. It's the techniques called repousse, this very ornate beaten steel armour. And um, I, I just think that's a really special piece. Will you make collectibles from other franchises or only the films you make? There are so many other wonderful opportunities out there. We've recently been offered the amazing opportunity of working on Brian Singer's uh, film Superman that was made in Australia and doing a limited range of collectibles art directed by Brian himself. What's your schedule of releases? Every three to six months? Well, probably about every six months. They, by their very nature, because they are taking so long to do, it's you know interesting to note character like Miss Piggy there looks very, very simple. She actually took 18 weeks to sculpt. It's like a fun playground here for big kids. How does it feel coming to work each day? Well, I, uh, I can't be thankful enough. Ultimately, you get to come to work and play with your train set every day, but all your mates come along every day to play with it with you, and that's a, a cool place to be. And uh, I, uh, I'm very thankful for what we've managed to put together here, you know, the, the efforts of a large group of very creative people. Director of the Weta Collection of Companies, Richard Taylor, thanks for inviting us into your playground. It's been remarkable. Well, cheers to you, DJ. All the best. Thank you. Cheers to everyone. Don't forget to drop us a line if you'd like to show off your collection. But thanks for being here this week and join us next time as we uncover more great collections of Battlestar Galactica, train sets, comics and even someone who's nuts about Michael Jackson. If it's pop culture, we want to see it on Pop Collectibles. Bye for now.